offered by Mr. Jordan of Ohio. Page one, beginning on line 12, strike article one and redesignate the succeeding article accordingly. The gentleman is recognized for the purpose of explaining his amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This, this amendment strikes article I one. I withdraw as, my point of order. This amendment uh, strikes article one because article one ignores the truth. Four facts, five meetings. We've talked about it now for three months. We've known that there have been four facts that have not changed, will not change, will never change, and we've known it since September 25th when the call transcript was released. The call transcript shows no quid pro quo. What's interesting is the day the transcript came out, even Chairman Nadler said there was no quid pro quo in the call transcript. We know, second, that the two individuals on the call, President Zelensky, President Trump have both said no pressure, no pushing, no linkage whatsoever between security assistance money and any type of announcement of an investigation. We know that the Ukrainians knew at the time of the call, didn't know at the time of the call that the aid had been held up. And most importantly, most importantly, we know the Ukrainians took no action, no start of an investigation, no promise to start an investigation, no announcement on CNN via tweet, no, no announcement whatsoever that there was going to be any type of investigation into Burisma or the Bidens to get the aid released. Those four facts, those four facts have never changed. Second, five key meetings that took place between July 18th when the aid was paused, September 11th when the aid was released. Five key meetings. We have the phone call. July 25th, which you just described. Second, the very next day, very next day, we have Ambassadors Volker, Sondland, Taylor meeting with President Zelensky. Third, Ambassador Bolton met with President Zelensky on August 29th. Fourth, Vice President Pence met with President Zelensky on September 2nd. And fifth, on September 5th, we have bipartisan senator, Senator Johnson, Senator Murphy's, or Senator Murphy meeting with President Zelensky. In none of those five meetings, none, did linking dollars, security assistance dollars, to an investigation come up. Never came up. And you would think in the last two, you would think in those last two, after they knew on August 29th via the Politico article that they knew the aid was held, you would think it would come up in those last two meetings, but it didn't come up. Four facts, five meetings have never changed. Article one in this resolution ignores the truth, it ignores the facts, it ignores, it ignores what happened and what has been laid out for the American people over the last three weeks. So I hope that this committee will come to its senses, that it will adopt the amendment and strike Article 1 from the resolution. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman I, I move to back. strike I the last word. I now recognize Mr. Cicilline in opposition <coughs> to the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to strike the last word.